Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit www.godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Dzisiejszy odcinek zostanie nadany w języku angielskim, chińskim i czeskim z napisami w języku aulackim, znanym też jako wietnamski, arabskim, bułgarskim, chińskim, chorwackim, czeskim, angielskim, francuskim, niemieckim, hinduskim, węgierskim, indonezyjskim, włoskim, japońskim, koreańskim, malajskim, mongolskim, perskim, polskim, portugalskim, pendżabskim, rumuńskim, rosyjskim, hiszpańskim i tajskim. Witam czczących Boga widzów. Jestem Alicja. Gorąco pozdrawiam z Łodzi w Polsce. Z mieszanką starodawnych miast i naturalnych krajobrazów Polska stała się jednym z ulubionych celów podróży dla turystów. Kraj szczyci się posiadaniem 22 parków narodowych, około 1200 rezerwatów przyrody, ponad 100 parków krajobrazowych oraz 400 obszarów chronionych. Polska w połowie XV wieku była największym państwem w Europie. Jej obecną stolicą jest Warszawa, w której nadal zachowane są historyczne ulice, kościoły i budynki. Mottem miasta jest Contemnum Praselas, co oznacza zawsze niezwyciężona. Warszawskie Stare Miasto znajduje się obecnie na liście światowego dziedzictwa UNESCO. Z wysoko rozwiniętą kulturą Polska szczyci się też utalentowanymi laureatami Nagrody Nobla w literaturze, w tym pisarzami Wisławą Szymborską, Henrykiem Sienkiewiczem, Władysławem Rejmontem, i poetą Czesławem Miłoszem. Kwintesencja polskiego wpływu na muzykę została uwieczniona w pracach sławnego na całym świecie kompozytora Fryderyka Chopina, rodowitego Polaka. Polska jest także miejscem urodzenia jednego z najbardziej ukochanych przywódców religijnych, jego świątobliwości papieża Jana Pawła II. To ogromna przyjemność podzielić się krótką historią Polski i odsłonić cząstkę jej kultury. Mieszkańcy Polski modlą się do Boga, aby obdarzył Was miłością i błogosławieństwem. Dzisiaj podzielimy się z Wami pierwszą częścią programu pod tytułem Zawsze szeszcie więcej miłości. Więcej języków dostępnych jest online. Poszczególny język prosimy odwiedzić www.suprememastertv.com ukośnik subtitles Od ponad 30 lat 
Najwyższa mistrzyni Jing Hai rozświetla nasz świat swoimi niebiańskimi naukami. Jako w pełni oświecony mistrz przekazuje metodę medytacji Kuan Yin tym, którzy pragną natychmiast odnaleźć boską naturę wewnątrz i osiągnąć w ciągu jednego życia wieczne wyzwolenie z cyklu transmigracji. Metodą Guan Yin praktykowali wszyscy oświeceni mistrzowie, tacy jak Budda, Jezus Chrystus, prolog Mahomet, niech pokój będzie z nim i Guru Nanak. Podkreśla, że jeśli zawsze pamiętamy o Bogu, świadczymy bezinteresowną pomoc innym i przestrzegamy praw tego wszechświata, to osiągniemy najwyższy ludzki potencjał i naprawdę zrozumiemy swój cel na Ziemi. Najwyższa mistrzyni Jing Hai jest niezwykłym żyjącym przykładem współczucia, regularnie przesyłając materialną i finansową pomoc, jak również miłość uchodźcom, bezdomnym, ofiarom klęsk żywiołowych oraz innym potrzebującym pomocy. W 2006 roku otrzymała pokojową nagrodę Gushi, uznawaną za pokojową nagrodę Nobla Wschodu i została uhonorowana w przeciągu lat licznymi innymi nagrodami i wyróżnieniami za jej wybitną filantropię i pomoc humanitarną. Jako prawdziwy głos dla naszych pięknych przyjaciół, zwierząt, promuje ona pokojową i kochającą dietę roślinną oraz wyobraża sobie wraz z przebudzeniem ludzkości do świętości wszelkiego życia spokojny i chwalebny, w pełni wegański świat gdzie zwierzęta i ludzie żyją w błogiej harmonii. Jej inicjatywy rozpowszechniania wegańskiego trendu są zróżnicowane i obejmują dystrybucję ulotek, alternatywne życie, międzynarodową sieć wegańskich restauracji Loving Hut Supreme Master Television, jak również regularne przemowy do wpływowych rządów i szefów mediów oraz uczestnictwo w telewizyjnych konferencjach na temat zmian klimatycznych, czy jesteśmy ich świadomi, czy nie. Jej wysiłki mają niezmiernie wielki wpływ na globalną świadomość przyjaznego zwierzętom stylu życia oraz tego, jak ten życzliwy sposób bycia może przynieść trwały pokój pomiędzy narodami, tym samym ratując naszą planetę przed zmianami klimatu. Przez lata najwyższa mistrzyni Ching Hai podróżowała po całym świecie, od obu Ameryk po Afrykę, od Europy po Oceanię, odbywając setki rozmów z publicznością i swoimi uczniami na różnego rodzaju duchowe tematy. Dzisiaj Jesteśmy błogosławieni, przedstawiając jeden z tych wnikliwych wykładów pod tytułem Zawsze szerzcie więcej miłości.
część pierwsza z dwóch z międzymistrzem a uczniami udzielony w języku angielskim, chińskim i czeskim 2 lipca 2013 roku we Francji. Enjoying, huh? You enjoying yourself, huh? Who is the new one? New one, newcomer. New, 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 new. Okay, good news. Good news. <laughs> okay. The new one can have some. The old one can drool. <laughs> until until something left over, then. Yeah. Oh, you bake, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you bake the new one, not me. <laughs> Say, please. <laughs> Compassion is a virtue. <laughs> Sharing is a good, good thing to do. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we have more anyway. Okay, the new one can come. Or oh, yeah. just uh, pass over because it's difficult to walk around. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You strong enough? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Just a newcomer. <laughs> Just because I don't look. <laughs> I'm looking in the back of my eye. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they just they just I on that. <laughs> oh, look at what, how much she got. Look at how much she got. <laughs> and the old comer feel very, very anxious. If anything left in that basket at all, don't ask me to do any miracle, okay? Because <laughs> I'm above miracle now. It's so nice to have such a nice place for you. Yeah. It is very nice. Yeah. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. Yeah. You see, we have other places you could also come, but they don't have enough room. You know, big yard, big garden, though, nice, yeah. olive trees, and you can hang a hammock and all that. I love it, but I'm not sure you can go there because not enough toilet and shower for you, you know? For the big group of people, that was intended just for dogs and birds, you know, <laughs> before, eh? before. But it's still available, and I would have loved to have you there. But I don't know how to arrange it. Those places would be also very nice because a lot of trees, you know, olive trees, that you could uh, hang your hammock, yeah, and have a siesta, sleep after lunch. Did you eat lunch? We don't have lunch. We don't have lunch? Yeah. <laughs> they, have a, they brought me lunch. They <laughs> <laughs> have two meals. We don't need lunch. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I didn't. Uh, normally I don't have breakfast, okay? I also have like lunch on something evening or not, yeah? Or just evening and no lunch. It depends on what time I wake up. No more left? The only That's one, new one. Uh, any yeah. new people don't have? Newcomer? Just newcomer don't have? Oh man. Get another basket. <laughs> <laughs> Please get another basket. But they behave like that when they're around me. Normally they're intelligent, I hope. Yeah. I think. Is it? Are your men intelligent at all? <laughs> why are you laughing? You don't have any men, no. why are you laughing? <laughs> Everybody else report to me. <laughs> they are intelligent? Yeah. Yeah? They think they are intelligent. They think they, they think are. They have very big ego. Big ego, huh? Yeah. This is a problem. This is a problem when, when we have a lot of big ego, huh? Then we do things wrong. We don't. We just uh, want to to do it the the way that profit us or whatever the way we think and don't consider anybody else or anything else. Then we do wrong. Hmm? Yeah. You should use intelligence, but the ego clouded all. Yeah. Even people have intelligence. If they have ego, they become less intelligent. Don't we love them? <laughs> <laughs> no. Mm. No. Then why you marry? <laughs> blind? Love makes blind? <laughs> but I thought you're already enlightened. 
Your, your wisdom eye open already. No, no, not before. After the initiation, many people still jump into that river of whatever, <laughs> of love. <laughs> Huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. All kind of excuses, <laughs> and then come complain to me, Master. Why this? Why he does this to me? Why is that? Why is this? I have no answer. <laughs> May past karma. Yeah. Listen. Ah, very difficult to live together, you know, and especially um, after marriage, eh? Kind of tune each other out. Huh? Don't listen anymore. That's the problem, huh? Yeah. And then blaming each other, and then the romance gone, eh? It's a pity, though, eh? In the beginning, was so nice, no? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but later on, it was, it's just kind of difficult, huh? Difficult. Mm. But everybody likes it, I don't know why. <laughs> The mind tricks you, huh? Like, come, come. Yeah, the old one can have. What happened to you? You move and then you don't move? Huh? <laughs> to touch or not to touch? Can get another? Continue passing. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Uh, you want some more? Are you too hot? We move to the other side. Okay? Yeah. Too hot, huh? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> you lost your job. <laughs> we go to the other side. I know you asked me well, why I don't iron my clothes, right? I don't care anymore. <laughs> they told me I'm the best model. <laughs> you put your seat on your head, that's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, the cushion can be used like that, huh? Yeah, not bad. And the shy, the kwaning, it's very useful, eh? One time I went to uh, the open market, you know, where the farmer br bring their produce uh, to 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 sell it, you know, like half a day today and half a day another day they run around in the city. And they are fresh produce from farmer directly, yeah. And not only they are fresh, but they're cheaper, huh? And also uh, helping the, you know, the small farmers. I like that very much. I, if I see it on open market, I always go to buy these uh, small things, yeah. A little vegetable, some maybe uh, some some something that they do, huh? Sometimes tomatoes, uh, sauce. <laughs> Uh, all kind of things they do. And sometimes they even sell uh, woman stuff, you know, <laughs> woman uh, in their clothes. Yeah. And uh, I took my dogs with me. At that time it was Hermit, and you know, he's very, very high. But, <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> he's checking around. <laughs> and uh, they, they told me, you have to, how do you say, um, leash him. I said, sorry, I never leash my dog. I don't have a leash here. But he, he's no harm, he don't bite you. He said, never mind, you have to leash it. I said, yeah. okay, uh, I don't have anything, so I take the shy, you know, <laughs> put on his neck loosely, yeah, yeah. Uh, nicely. Yeah. Everybody look and smiling, they think, oh, 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 how lovely, lovely. <laughs> fashion, 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 fashion dog, fashion master, you know, both together. <laughs> And sometimes, uh, if you have a shy, always ready. It's very simple. When when it's sunny, you can always cover yourself. Eh? It's very uh, very nice. And when it's windy or cold, you can also cover yourself. <laughs> Winter is good. Summer is good. The shy, you know, where you do the quaning, very nice. Now you know why the Arabian people they have shy, the woman and the Indian. That's from the old tradition. They do the quaning, yeah. Yes, they cover themselves. And then now it becomes like a virtue if you do it. <laughs> One time I was in uh, Dubai, passing by, huh? on the way back somewhere, on the way to go to somewhere. And uh, I know it's a Muslim country. Well, not that uh, restricted Muslim, but uh, I still respect their tradition. <laughs> I have just a shy, not the woolen one, but those a warmer one, synthetic made. 
And then I just cover it when I go out of the airplane. I said, oh, you're such a virtuous lady. <laughs> and uh, they told me, Allah will bless you. I said, thank you. <laughs> Allah will bless you more. <laughs> and so we were very happy, you know, passing through no problem. Very nice when you go somewhere and respect people's custom. Not costume, no. <laughs> custom. Yeah, so many languages. Today, Chinese, tomorrow, German and English. And don't talk to me in Vietnamese. <laughs> um, I will not forget when I sing or when I read poetry, but in the common language, you know, sometimes I uh, hesitate a little bit. Always think in English or Chinese, yeah. And now my English is also bad because I have Chinese attendant all the time. <laughs> Somehow I have affinity with the Chinese, yeah? I mean, uh, Chinese or Taiwanese, yeah? Then we speak Chinese, or Hong Kong also speak Chinese, you know? Uh, not Mandarin. Cantonese, yes, uh, very cute. Cantonese, very cute. <laughs> well, any Cantonese here? Say something. Say something to each other. No, there are a lot. No. I don't know, so holy, holy, I'm guy. <laughs> Not like that, talking to each other, you know, like telling stories or something. Very cute. Tell stories. Oh, they are just making theatre now. <laughs> it's not the way they talk to each other. Mostly very uh, strong, strong, like their character. Yeah, very strong. <laughs> strong and powerful, yeah? Say something. <laughs> Yeah, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> something uh, uh, is very nice uh, to eat, something? Yeah. What is it? Nice. Uh, oh. Uh, oh. <laughs> That's all I know. <laughs> Tasty. That's all I know. <laughs> Anything you want me to do for you or ask me or answer you question, your silly questions? <laughs> Huh? Just uh, don't bring your troubles here, okay? This time, this two months' time, a uh, few weeks' time, we really want to concentrate on God, okay? And everything else will take care by itself, yes. truly like that. Because if I keep worrying about many other things, then I can never reach God. I found something even more powerful already, yes, last night. <laughs> yeah. It's the same, the same title, the same, same level, it just go deeper, nearer to the source, and more powerful, that's all. Wow, there's so many times. Thirty thousand times more powerful than last time I told you. Yeah, but, but I had to run around all the time. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, that's good, so when you meditate here, you benefit. Okay? Yes. Because without the body instrument, the temple, uh, the heaven's blessing cannot go through to this world. It just has to be that way. It's like electricity, um, have to go through the cable, yes. But we have wireless nowadays. I don't know why heaven... <laughs> I don't know why heaven is still so old-fashioned. <laughs> We will complain about that, huh? Then I can retire. And then you just sit anywhere and... <laughs> yeah, even wireless, they do have source somewhere. Right? You understand? Yeah. Or like wireless internet, there is an internet source somewhere nearby, right? Yes. Now, when we were in Mexico, there was a, a, a place I bought for the disciples in Mexico, in the Cancun city because it was a very good place, yeah, spiritually good. We buy some two houses, but rented one house, because that house is not for sale, because near each other, so we rented one. And many rooms, yeah, and included everything, have garden and all. Uh, and they don't have internet in that house. But the, the, the disciples were able to <laughs> use the internet. I said, how how you do that? They say, probably there's a house, a neighbor house or something. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. <laughs> uh, 
uh, or maybe the house that we bought have internet. Yeah, and then the house next to it, you know, that we rent it, also profit from it. That's what it is, yeah. You see what I mean? Yeah, it has to have a source somewhere even, even these invisible things as electricity or electronic stuff, yeah. Tesla, he has invented something with free energy, but we didn't use it. We didn't make use of it. Now they do, they make a very good Tesla car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, slowly they do it. I have one. Oh. <laughs> they test it and they said that is the best car. They don't use any electricity. Electricity, right? Yeah. You have to charge the electricity. Six hours or three hours. Three hours. I don't drive anywhere, anywhere. I don't trust myself <laughs> to drive. I told you I worry about security, safety. That I don't drive. Safety for everyone else on the street. <laughs> uh, or maybe I will drive one day, but I have to plaster on or kind of sigh, you know, please pray. <laughs> Please pray now, <laughs> you know, all over the, the cars. <laughs> so all the driver <laughs> pay attention. <laughs> and the, you know, pedestrian also <laughs> pay attention and pray, yeah, <laughs> in case. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, I really adore that car. I'm a woman, but I love cars. <laughs> <laughs> when I was in America, the road is big. And I pass a driver's license with no problem. In America, it's not that difficult to pass a driver's license. You just drive around the block for a time, and then you come back and do the backup parking. Yeah, yeah. I practiced it ten times. <laughs> <laughs> and then I passed with flying color, no? Yeah. Uh, uh, but you have to pass the writing, writing test as well, no? Mm, that's also okay. <laughs> I told you already the story about my car. No, that car, no? Oh, never mind. <laughs> you probably dig it <laughs> into one of those old tapes. Then maybe you get it. Anyway, uh, oh, that's a long time already. But I was younger, you see. When you were young, you're invincible. <laughs> you're fearless, no? I told you when I was young, I, ride, I raced motorcycle with the boys and won all the time. Mm. <laughs> I don't have any trophy, but in the school I was okay, yeah? yeah. Tough guy, yeah? <laughs> muscle, <laughs> muscle. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, you can, you can also fly through the, the arctic bridge and, and hurdle and, you know, and like, or like uh, uphill road and all that. You don't have to go up and down. You just fly and then it's faster also. <laughs> you fly from the highest point. Very fast from under, and then up to the highest point, you just let it fly. <laughs> oh, uh, my knees also know some flying stuff. <laughs> not too much, not too much. But when you were young, you're crazy, no? <laughs> Doing stu stupid things. Don't do that, huh? <laughs> I'm telling you, it's not too good things to do. Mm, and then, so I drove a lot, yeah? But nowadays, I don't drive anymore. I buy a safe car so that the assistant can drive for me and the dogs, but I don't drive anymore. I could if I have to, yeah, if I have to, I could. I have license, you know, mm. <laughs> international. <laughs> okay, all about me. You just love my story, I don't know why. <laughs> it's all about me, me, I, I, myself. <laughs> I, myself, and me, yeah? <laughs> Tell me yourself, your stuff. New people, any question? Any love story? <laughs> so, Master, could you tell us uh, how's uh, your situation and your health now? Is My health? It, yeah, it's better. I don't look better to you? It looks better. Okay. <laughs> Last time I told you I look younger. It was a joke. Please take it. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you are. You can take a joke, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Mm. Uh, yeah, I, I feel good. I feel good. Mm -hmm. I don't eat as much as before. And the, the, the vegetables I eat are limited, yeah? And if the kitchen gives me something that is not in my list, I, I won't eat it. <laughs> well, yesterday I ate some, but 
I don't I don't like those things anymore. Huh? Yeah. And I'm good. Okay? It's all about me, myself and I again. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about you. Any good experience these days? Yes, Master. How how you feel? It's good? I feel very peaceful. A lot of energy here. Yeah? Yeah. Very comfortable and lovely and I want to stay forever. Oh good. <laughs> you can stay but I think you're stuck, right? <laughs> I know it. <laughs> Mary, this is it. <laughs> golden, golden Jane. <laughs> lovely, lovely, romantic. <laughs> but it's good if you have a good husband, you see? Good company. Life is lonely, yeah? So a little company also help you a little bit. No? Why shaking head? No? You got the not a good one? <laughs> Headache. Suffering and pain. Oh, so source of suffering and pain. Well, karma. Karma <laughs> cleansing. Yeah, karma <laughs> cleansing. Where is he now? Is he here? I give him some of my mind. No, no, no. He divorced me. Oh, many good. years ago. Yeah. Then why you say suffering? You have another one now? No, 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 no. <laughs> New suffering. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's the. I. I mean, that's the source of suffering. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. The relationship. Oh, that's what I learned last year. Oh, sometimes. If you're not lucky, yes. If you're lucky, you get a good husband, then it's not too bad. But still, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, if I have a husband, I don't know if I have enough time to meditate like that. Because I also have other responsibility, not just meditation. See, not like I'm in the Himalaya, nobody, no house, no husband, no disciples. Disciples is a source of work. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of suffering. <laughs> Not just husband. <laughs> Worse than husband, I'm telling you. Be happy that you have only one husband. I have many. And wives. Oh. <laughs> Not obviously suffer, but you know, do suffer. Yeah. Oh, what? Oh, somebody want to talk? Yeah, come on. <laughs> Hi, Master. Hi. Um, I had very good experience just now. Just now? Yeah. Oh. It's like bright white yellow lights on my Ooh. shine. Yeah. Thank okay. you, Master. Thank okay, you so you. much. Yeah. Thank you. Maybe the sun blesses you. No, I opened my eyes and it's normal, but I, I, I was so excited I opened my eyes that the light gone. Oh, thank you very much. Oh. <laughs> I was so excited, Master. Excited? Why open eyes? I thought I you saw, can be excited I and close your eyes at the same time. Sun. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> you don't trust yourself, right? Yeah, because I haven't had that uh, inner experience. Oh, it's good. It's good. Good, you can have it now. Yeah. <laughs> For Jane. Thank yeah. you, Master. Yeah. <laughs> Next time you're excited, don't open eyes. You can open mouth, okay? <laughs> Open something. <laughs> if you have to open something, do it. <laughs> All right. Good for you. Good for you. <laughs> You're welcome. Anyone else want to tell me? <laughs> just to have excuses so that I sit here. Otherwise, I can just sit here and you look at me fine. <laughs> That's what they call darshan in India. You know, sometimes people come from very far away can see the master, he, he also don't say anything because he say all day already or just came back from the lecture. So he just go out, sit in the terrace, and the people sit around him, have a look at him for a while, or her for a while, and then, then he came in. Sometimes <laughs> I was in India one time, and the, the master husband was busy. So, so he let his wife go out, wife, go out, put, put her on the terrace, and they also sit, look at her. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, because there's a Bapachi, then there's a Matachi. <laughs> yeah, they call it also Holy Mother. Also, she Aurobindo, he also has a partner, a French woman. They also call her mother. And uh, she, uh, Ramakrishna, he also married to a lady, yeah? And they also call her Holy Mother, and they also worship her very much when he's not there anymore or when he is not available, when he was alive and not available, they worship her too. And after he's gone, they worship her, <laughs> just like as he was. Né? Mm. That is in India, you know. After they're married, but if the husband or wife became master, they don't 
coexist like husband and wife anymore, just on the paper or principally, but they are not together. And the husband or the wife also sit on the floor and worship the master. It's the same like everybody else. Yes. But then now and then if the uh, master is not there, they also turn to the wife or the husband. <laughs> Better than nothing. That's <laughs> what so they say, right? <laughs> and uh, maybe I just put my dogs out. <laughs> they're very holy. Yeah, they're holy, the, the human. Then the human? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Don't say this to other humans, they would think I offended them. Yeah, dogs, even normal dogs, they have qualities that we normal humans do not possess. Yeah? Like they're very loyal, very loving, very forgiving, very understanding, and very constant in their love and devotion to you. You can always rely on your dog. Yeah? They never desert you, they never uh, beat you up, they never... Mm, make trouble for you, you know, whatever you give, they eat, and then they just stay by your side all the time. My dogs, even if I stay, if I stay in the next room, they respect me a lot. Sometimes they don't come because I know I, me I meditate. But now and then they whine, you know, like... <laughs> 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 and then I have to come and let them sit around me. So if you go in my house, you see every room have dogs, beds, dogs, dogs, something. <laughs> So they, if I go to that room, they will, if they are around, they'll be comfortable. So it's like a dog center <laughs> if I have a house. And even in my cave, very small cave, two by two, and a little extra part, a half a meter in the front, that also three dogs come in. Before, cannot all ten dogs. Four, now three, you know. I have to put them in two corners, <laughs> and another one in the corner, and I am in the corner. See, so <laughs> four corners, <laughs> very balanced. <laughs> Before there was four dogs, then another one in, in front, in the front room. The room, you know, the half a meter <laughs> room. Uh, that room is for uh, washing, cleaning teeth, yeah, and some little stuff on the shelf and a little dentist-style basin, and some water, normally just cold water. And still then dogs also come in, because if I don't let them come in, I feel that there is sorrow in, in the house, in the big house. You know, even with the big bed, all the big beds, you know, are for dogs. <laughs> dogs, sofa, everything for dogs. Anybody else a good experience? I, I always keep talking about myself, how boring. <laughs> This is your fault. You keep asking about things. <laughs> Tell me about your experience. My experience, you know already. I, mean, I told you. Huh? I told the Supreme Master TV staff. They put on internet, no? Yes. Yeah. They asked me. I said, okay, do it. Because the disciples want to know. It make you happy, no? Yes. Make you happy to see your master is still alive and going, <laughs> kicking. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, we watch it again and again. Yeah. Very exciting waiting they put on the oh, really? yeah, yeah. Uh, what did they put now? Uh, they put uh, June sixteen. June sixteen, what did they put? The whole thing already? Mm -hmm. Not subtitles. But very soon they will put Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, because subtitle takes a long time. I have to pick you know, pick people who are really good at translation, this kind of thing. So it takes some time, yeah? But English is always good, no? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You don't have like automatic translation machine in your home? <laughs> no? They have to invent it. Yeah? Even so, it's not correct, the instant translation. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know, I know. It was a joke. Like in English, they say, early to bed, early to rise, make a man healthy, wealthy, and wise, yeah? And then in Chinese, they translate it something like, uh, go to breakfast, you will have gold teeth. <laughs> yeah. Gold teeth mean gold, you know. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Bright and shining. Yeah? That means rich, you know? Uh, not in our generation, but the elder, a little bit elder generation, people cover their teeth with gold, eh? some teeth with gold. Sometimes they do it just to show that <laughs> shiny, you know, and rich, yeah? That you can even plate your teeth with gold, yeah? 
And now they sometimes they drill a hole and put a diamond on it. <laughs> Did you see him? Yes. Some, eh? Yeah. Not only diamond here, diamond there, diamond there. <laughs> bling, bling. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know why you do that. You should be happy that your teeth have no hole. <laughs> and that is healthy. That you don't even have to drill in it. Oh, and then now you drill it just to put a diamond in it. I don't think it's a very recommendable idea. Huh? Your teeth should be healthy and natural. That's the best thing that could happen to you. Your teeth, no? Nah? But you know, uh, the African people, the, uh, the people who live in tribes in Africa, real African people, they're so black and their teeth are so white. <laughs> so healthy, huh? So even and white, even in the dark, you will recognize them <laughs> when they smile. If you don't see them in the dark, if they smile, then you know there's a person there. <laughs> yeah, and in our society, so-called civilization, our teeth are so bad. Eh? Many are bad teeth, including mine. And I don't eat sweet anymore that much. I mean, here now and then, if they bake something, I eat some, but... At home, I don't buy them, I don't eat them. If I have a good square meal, I'm happy. That's enough, okay? Mostly like that. And if the meal wasn't too good, probably I still want to eat something more, and then I take some simple in the evening, yeah? Or if I don't, I meditate all day, then I eat only evening. Ramadan, all day, <laughs> every day, most of the day. Because, I don't know, sometimes if I sit meditate, I, I don't want to get up. I don't feel hungry. But sometimes if I get up, then uh, I see things, then I want to eat. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's true, huh? Yeah, if you don't see things, you don't feel like... Yeah, and you stand up, you start to have energy, yeah, you yeah. eat something. Yeah, yeah, it's right, it's right. Okay, you farmer, thank you, love. <laughs> I'm not sure if I need it, but thanks for your love. <laughs> Uh, it smells nice, so I just taste it. Bah. Tutu? Tutu? Mm, go away, otherwise you might die, understand? My, oh my God, what happened? You like me too? Listen, you, you like me, but you go away. No, my dog, you know, accidentally step on them or something, and then I, I compensate for some spirit, spiritual merit points. It depends on how big her size, and, and then so they... They like it. <laughs> this morning, I tried to get a fly out of my room. So difficult. It's as if he could go through the plastic uh, cup. I was sure he was in there. I put it outside the door, nothing. <laughs> and then he zoo around me. I'm here. <laughs> I'm still here. And then I say, you, get down. <laughs> I want to take you out. And then he went down on the dog bed. And I get the cup to cover him, to slide a, a thin paper under. Somehow he escaped again. <laughs> Ten times. Oh. I say, we are getting mad now. We are getting angry. <laughs> you better get out. <laughs> and finally, I got him. Yeah. Or her, whoever. I didn't, I didn't check the sex. <laughs> Must be a her. <laughs> so clever. <laughs> No, no, it's true. Like in nature, I'm telling you the truth. I don't mean that all the male uh, creatures are are not intelligent. But for example, if uh, some insects go in my house, like bees or something, if I told her once, stay somewhere on the window, then I get you out. Then he, she knows it. She let me do that. But the boy, oh, run around, around, banging himself. I said, please don't do that. You kill yourself. Just stay in one place and I get you out. And then he go all the way up to the ceiling very high. I say, well, I can't fly. <laughs> I can fly astrally, but not physically. You better come down, but he don't understand nada. No capisce. Mm. Or, uh, or maybe uh, female dogs on the street and all that. They understood quickly and they do cooperate very well. Mm. I have now also two males and one female dog. Happy, also very sensible and very, very obedient. The other two, very sticky but not obedient. 
They love to be around me, but not when I want them to do something. Unless I yell. I have to yell like a boss. You know, now, bed. Then they go. If I say, go bed now, honey, it's time. Oh. <laughs> Hang around, <laughs> jump about, you know, and pretend not to hear nothing. <laughs> She's very funny, but they're very sticky. They like to stick around very much, yeah. Not as much as happy. Happy, very respectful. If I come to her and, you know, caress her and tell her how wonderful a girl she is, how pretty and how much I love her forever and ever, then she knows, then she feels I want and then she come. She, she you come to me next to my bed. Otherwise, she stay in the other room. But the two boys, scratching door, knocking door, <laughs> you know, wagging tail, way, oh, every kind of thing, until I have to let them. <laughs> I mean, I let them when, whenever, yeah? Just sometimes I need to be alone, to think, yeah. They are very quiet, you know, but sometimes still, I need to, to have my own, my own uh, place, energy alone to, to think of something important or to check out it's a new, new, new level. Yeah? Okay, like that. All right. Abby, she's very, very sensible mm -hmm. and very obedient. And she, she's very shy. When you take her out, she always hides behind the bush to do her business normally. And if you're looking, she won't do it. <laughs> like a woman. Mm. My God. And now she's a little bit more used to with the boys already, you know, and me and the attendant. Before, no, never. And she never does it in the house. One time I wanted to train her so that in case I go to lecture in the hotel and I take her, she has to do it on the paper. She didn't do it. She hold it on forever, for all day long and crying, crying, but she doesn't do it on the paper in the house. So I had to open the door, let her out. She don't do nothing in the house. But the boys sometimes, when they're angry or when they feel that I left them, they did something. <laughs> <laughs> now and then, yes. Also, when some bad people come in the house, they do that too, to, to warn me or to like, uh, push away the negative power with their poo <laughs> and their pee. <laughs> I say, thank you, but I don't really need it, huh? <laughs> My God. Too overprotective, you know. Benny is very protective. Okay, <laughs> enough. Next one. <laughs> yeah, we take turn. I talk and then you talk. Or you ask question. Or you tell me your good experience. Light's gone, yeah? <laughs> oh, Master, I think I'll, I'll meditate again. Yeah, do it now. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Anybody else? Now you are very powerful. Am I? Uh, yeah, on April 14th, uh, video um, when SMTV aired it, and we watched it at home. And me and our other disciples, we keep looking outside the window because we, we think the, the sun is shining. Mm. But actually, it's your blessing, it's the lights. Mm, how you know? Is the sun not there? Yeah, it's not there. But we, uh, two of us, we keep uh, uh, look outside the windows. Yeah. And after that, uh, I I put it, uh, I put your um, videos, um, twenty four hours in my bedroom, yeah. and uh, I just listen to it for within five minutes or three minutes. I'm gone. Yeah, yeah. gone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Not because I told you so, huh? Yeah. It is so. Hmm. Sorry, uh, you can't take it. I leave some here. Okay. And later you can share, all right? I leave it here. I have a lot of food in the kitchen. They gave me for lunch, but I didn't eat much. Uh, actually, happy eat more than I did. <laughs> but still some in there. And normally, the dog also eat twice a day, and at lunchtime I give them some snacks. And also evening if they're still hungry. Sometimes they don't eat well. Their meals or and happy come licking my toe, wanting food. <laughs> she always does that. When she wants food, come kiss my toe. <laughs> then I know she's hungry, and really she is. Then I give her anything she eat, eat, eat. <laughs> uh, she is more easily hungry. Mm. But why we talk about this thing? Ah, oh, about the, the food and <laughs> the drink. Okay, it's good like that. So even if I don't see you, you benefit anyway. 
and moreover the world benefit and the universe benefit. That's why I stop all other work. Not because I abandon you or I don't uh, want to see you. I do want to see you. But uh, the main point is that I can help you spiritually, not to see you. You see what I mean? But of course you love me and I love you and now and then. If I can, of course, I always come see you, if I can afford it, yeah? If I can afford not to lose too much, and then I cannot catch up again. So I have to balance this. Huh? So if I can see you, of course, it's a happy time for us. If I cannot see you, you still benefit. Yeah, all the same. Huh? So it's all right, yeah? yeah? Do not feel sad or anything? No, huh? No, if you sad, then I don't have to see you again. <laughs> <laughs> then uh, I can retire now in my, to my cave. We don't want you suffering also. We don't want to pour you down too much. Uh, not too much. It's okay. I can manage. I hmm? can manage. Because even if you don't say anything, you don't write letter to me, your heart keeps pulling me. Not just you, I don't mean you, but everybody. Uh, everybody wants me to go here, that country, this country. I can't go everywhere. And some countries are also restricted. So, uh, okay, I'm just available sometimes like this, and whoever can come is fine, okay? But this time I really want grown-up children, okay? So that you can have more benefit for this country and for the world, yeah? If the ego is too high, then the level is too low. That is definitely like that. It's never exception that you have a lot of ego and then high level at the same time. No, I have seen that. I have seen that. If their positive power is very low already and their ego is high, even though they are positive but low, you know, like the border, then the negative power still can influence them. Maybe not 24 hours, but whenever they want or whenever the opportunity arises to hinder their practice. But, uh, you know, you talking to the ego is like talking to the dead bamboo here. Huh? <laughs> it's the thing. They don't even think they have ego. That's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> but even if you have ego, you have to pray. Yeah? You pray to heaven, pray to all the gods and goddesses, your protectors, your master power. Please help me to erase the ego. Please help me to be more humble, more selfless. Yes, not because I uh, want to go high maybe, but it's a nice thing to be selfless and to be humble. Yes, because then everybody will like you. And when everybody likes you, that means there's a happy atmosphere. When we have a happy atmosphere, everything goes smoothly for everybody. And they have no thorn in their heart because of your presence, because of your wrongdoing, because of your uh, argumentative attitude, or because of your pushy a mentality. So that's also a service to humankind and to all beings if we are more selfless and egoless, yes? I even check myself all the time. <laughs> I said, do I still have ego? I ask. <laughs> yeah, no, and then I will check to make sure. No? I, and I say to heaven, if I ever do harm to any being by anything accidentally or not, please, please compensate for them. Yes, I take it out from my spiritual merit bank account and give it to them according to their, their uh, earning and plus over, yes. Sometimes I, I can calculate, I say an, an ant I will give like, I'm allowed to give 20, yeah, but I probably give 30, for example like that. I can't give more, okay, uh, even if I want to. Uh, heaven has a, a list of how much everyone can earn by what. <laughs> even, even accidentally step on by the master cannot exceed how much. Yeah, <laughs> for example, for their evolution. Yes, <laughs> uh, because if we give it too much, uh, they're supposed to be uh, from the end. They're supposed to be the fly, and then if you give too much, they are in between. They don't know what to do. <laughs> Or maybe the, the fly is too fat, too big, and then the wing is too small, can't fly. So their evolution has, has to match with their uh, step, yeah, of the universal law. <laughs> what I mean is um, I check myself whether is it for my ego or still, 
or is it something else? <laughs> Even though I know already, I still check. Yeah, that's how we have to live on, okay? We have to always humbly, introvertly check in ourselves, yeah? Whether it is really from ego or not. Of course, sometimes it's from the karma and all that. But ego also is a very bad thing to have around. Bad for everybody, not just for you. It's really a block in your spiritual progress and a thorn in the feet of everybody else around. It causes a lot of damage, causes a lot of trouble. Is there anything you want to tell me? Huh? Yeah. Master, yeah. Uh, you just about to mention about the farmer. <laughs> farmer? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Uh, you can ask if anybody else wants to farm with you, the group, <laughs> farming group. Then you can take turn to do farming if you want. Okay. Yeah. Because we have land and it just lay there wasted. I can start uh, after this. I can start with that. After when? July, July 7th. 7. After. Oh, I can do okay. right now. After no, it's today. okay. You can stay for a while. No rush. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're not starving yeah. yet. <laughs> what I mean is if we have land, we can cultivate. Yeah. Uh, we have plenty of loving food we can cultivate. And in this weather, they can grow. A different season, they grow different things. And we see if we don't want to plant, uh, uh, I say beans and all that, there are different kinds of beans you can also plant, also belong to loving food. I will check into it. Yeah, and then we can plant like cucumber, yes, and melon stuff, yeah. Uh, also we have grapes, but oh, I have grapes, but I never harvest it. I don't eat them. <laughs> Already plant it. Already uh, have a, a grape plantation, a small one, but a lot, <laughs> a lot of food, a lot of grapes for just a family, you know. Mostly they plant it so that they can make a little wine for themselves, for the family. And now we bought the land, so it just stay there. Nobody really take care, but they grow still. And I let the birds eat them. I say birds, squirrel, rat, whoever, all free to eat in my garden. <laughs> So also not to waste, yeah. Uh, if if they take some fruit down, I tell them leave some for the birds, yeah. Because nowadays, well, even if we don't take the fruit, the birds and the squirrel and all that, we eat them. So I don't feel it's really wasted that much. It's just the olive is a waste. Yeah, yeah. You can at least pick up the one on the floor. Sometimes the wind very strong and all the olive fall on the floor, and we don't have time to to pick them up. Uh, we can. Like in olive season, you can put net around the trees. So whenever it for at least we can use that for oil or to do like an olive, a salty olive. Very nice. Very nice with even just bread. <laughs> I love that. Right. Fresh ram. Fresh. Yeah. Now, there is a way to do olive that is no need to take long. Uh, okay, you uh, wash the olive, mm -hmm. the fresh olive. And then you um, wash them and then soak them in salt water for two weeks. After two weeks, you, you take out as much as you use every day and wash it until not too much salt anymore. Wash it three, four times. Mm -hmm. And then eat like that. Oh, it tastes so delicious. Okay, we will do that. Oh, I learned that in Spain. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> in a shop, that he told me that. Oh. And it's, the olives look so green as if just from the tree. Because it is just from the tree. You have to have it fresh like that. Mm. And then just soak in salt water for two weeks and afterward take out what you need and wash it and eat immediately. So nice. It tastes uh, different than the olive that uh, wrinkle and put in the back. It's completely different. It tastes just like olive. So beautiful. And the, the color is still fresh like green or black, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Some more food stuff? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I have to also tell you many things for common sense, for, for you to survive as well, not just meditation. Huh? I wish I could. At home, I told you already, if you have any piece of land, just cultivate it. Huh? Don't need to plant grass. Plant vegetable. If you don't want to eat the one that's uh, not in the list of loving kindness, then plant the loving one at least. And if you have to buy, then buy uh, less, you see? Outside you buy the, the thing that they sell which is not in the loving list. Well, at least you have some loving thing at home. Mm? And if you plant tomato when they ripe, sometimes so easy to take off. You just touch it and then it comes out. Mm. 
and you thank the tree for it, okay? And uh, if you have uh, peppermints or herbs, yes, then you just uh, take it without the head, no? and you also thank them, yeah? You, you cut the two-thirds of it, <laughs> yeah, okay? Don't just uh, nip it or strip it down. They, they feel too violent. They, feel, they will feel sad, yeah, or scared. I tell them before, can I have some of your <laughs> beautiful things? <laughs> Thank you, and then take some. Hmm? Okay, and uh, do it with loving kindness, yeah, and thankfulness. It's still better than not, no? Mm, okay. And if you have like a banana or something, and you, you don't take the whole thing down, you just take whatever ripe, you know, and cut it. I leave some left, like the banana is 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 so much, uh, so long. You you cut it here, yeah, at the head, uh, before the head. Yeah. yeah. No, at least it's not to cut the whole head down. Okay, just a soft part, soft part. Uh, same with other fruits. And remember to ask for permission. Remember to thank, you know, sincerely at the end. Okay. To ask for permission is also to warn them that you're going to take something. Could you please withdraw your spirit from that part? Yes. Then they'll be okay. Yeah? They won't feel that sad because they know you're worthy and they're happy to contribute. Okay? Mm -hmm. uh, anybody want to do farming? <laughs> My garden? You do? I'm in school for horticulture, so I would love to do that. Oh, good. Uh, oh, you have a friend now. She's from Canada, too. Oh, God. <laughs> then you can maybe take turn or... Yeah? Okay. Uh, later I will uh, tell you where it is to go. Not in here, because here we need everything to plant humans. <laughs> 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 but some of my private land, there's nobody there. And uh, maybe now and then I come, but uh, maybe not. You can stay there in one room. Whenever you come, then you do cultivating there, yeah? I better make enough money to stay there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can also sell, <laughs> because a lot of olives. Sure. Yes. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you can do it, the two of you, though. I even have a shaking machine for olives. I'm not sure if it's still there. and. Uh, and also the machine to, to make oil, big, oil. yeah, big machine. Uh, not the one who make that, the one or three kilo only, but can make a lot of kilos. Or you can bring it to the mill, they do uh -huh. it for you. But then if you bring to the mill, you never know if it's your olive or not, because sometimes <laughs> I, you don't know if it's a, a virgin or not. Yeah. So way to they, they have many people who bring in there and, and they don't write your name on the olives. <laughs> 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 on your thousand millions of olives, say, this belong to uh, Pe Betty or something. They uh, mix them all and sometimes they give yours to the other and the other to you. You never know, yeah? You, it doesn't matter, but uh, you like to eat your own, no? Yes. Yeah, your own oil, on your yes. own soy with a lot of bless. Power, yeah? Okay. You are a culturist, yeah? Yeah. From Canada? What did you plant there? Well, we just have a small backyard right now, but I planted some lettuce this year and tomatoes. Yeah. Um, we had to leave the tomatoes with the landlord because I came here, so that's nice. But uh, yeah, we planted tomatoes, lettuce, uh, arugula, basil, mm. just a really small backyard. Understand, understand. So, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's enough for you. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, you alone? No, I have a partner. Oh, so what to do with he's there? He eat the tomatoes and you come here? <laughs> <laughs> well, he's coming also. He'll yeah. be here in a couple of days. Oh, so you take turn to plan or you no, plan I to do him? it all? That's oh. not his thing. <laughs> oh, so what is his thing? Uh, he likes electronics and machining oh. and that kind of thing. It sounds uh, not familiar at all. <laughs> For men to like machines and electronics. Gadget? <laughs> oh, that is something strange. <laughs> How, he also likes remote control, right? I think so. On yeah. television, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a strange guy, huh? <laughs> okay.
<laughs> All right. If you want, if you're okay with a uh, partner, you can do it. Well, how, how come only Canadian people like to farm in my house? Everybody else is tied up, huh? <laughs> okay, it's good. You too is enough, okay? You can always ask for help. The neighbors or something. But it's difficult to find laborers nowadays. <laughs> Because they all go working outside. They don't like farming much anymore. Farming is the best job to do, really. Okay? I think we can have next year. Next year. Oh, next year. did you ever farm before? A little bit, yeah. A little bit. And you, yeah. too? Yes. Both of you want to help? Yes. Okay, Because why not? we sell our house now to have more time for meditation. And, and then where farm. do you live? In the house in Buchingen near the frontier from Basel. You know it? Basel, house. yes, yes. But where do you live after you sell your house? Uh, we found two smaller a a apartments ah, yeah. only. Simple one. Beside huh? and uh-huh. in Constance, uh-huh, the okay. lake of Constance. Ah, oh, it's good. Yes, so we I, have time. Yes, I told you already. Smaller the house, the happier you are, really. Yes. Apartment is already too big. <laughs> if No, no, it, no s- small. Studio. Small. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, one, one or two rooms. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. What I mean is for me... An apartment is already too big. But for you, that's already a very, very important step. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Two rooms, she and I. Okay, yeah. then it's fine, it's fine. But still, you know, even, you know, the house here you have for me. Oh, whenever I sit in there, I feel so, so big. <laughs> I'm not, I like cave and small, uh, ready-made house, wood house. Two by two or, or two by one and a half. Yeah, I'm getting one for here because this house is too big for me. <laughs> yes, uh, I say to them, save it for theater time, you know, like I have to do some <laughs> makeup or something, <laughs> keep the shoes and the clothes. Yeah, just like you. You know, this is from market, yeah. I don't need to iron anything, yeah. Because... Um, I told you already, it's much my wrinkles, ne? <laughs> Why iron here, not iron there? So, <laughs> so the the smaller the house, the better for me. I feel good, even in my cave, you know, two by two and a half. <laughs> I have everything I need. You could even put aircon there if you want, or dehumidified. Yeah, in the front I have the basin to. And then there is a toilet nearby. And uh, we have uh, those uh, little electric uh, water boiler. Yeah, you can shower with that. Inside the small room, and the toilet is about this big only. I am small, I don't need big things. And have warm water, you see, in the toilet and shower together. <laughs> no problem, so easy. Yes? And you feel happier, believe me. Believe me. Big houses never make people happy. Maybe that's why a lot of people are not happy. You know, because so many things, you feel oppressive, you know? Big house, you collect things. <laughs> Small house, you, you think twice before you want to collect something. Yes? And you need just a small car if you're alone or two people. You don't need big car. I need a big car because I have still dogs. Yes, before that uh, smaller car is better, yes? And the smaller the house, the happier you will be. Because whatever you need is there. You don't have to walk miles to take things from the kitchen, and then you forget it, and then you go back again, another thing. (laughs) Oh, I'm tired of big house. You're tired, and if you have time, you want to sit and meditate to recover from the crowd, you know, from the karma of the crowd. And then now you have to walk all this way just to go brush your teeth. And then uh, walk all this way. If you forgot something <laughs> over there, you forgot your phone there while you brush your teeth, have to go back again, get it. And then, hey, oh, I have forgot my whatever, yeah? Clock or pens or whatever. And then you have to walk back again. Mm. <laughs> Maybe that's why they cook a lot of food for me whenever like that. They, yeah, exercise. <laughs> Hungry. <laughs> Oh, not only I waste my energy, I waste more energy of the world because of all this food produced for me. It's not logical. Huh? I'm very happy in the cave because I have everything at my fingertip. You see? Yes. 
so easy to get anything. And then what, what do you need anything? Huh? If you're still working, of course, you will need suits and all that. But still, you can manage just one or two, you know, the trendy suits. And it depends on the, your job, of course. But if you really have important job and you have to uh, have a lot of clothes and shoes, then okay, an apartment is fine enough. You have to uh, try to make shelves, you know, to put things around you instead of have another room for it. Yes, just buy shelves. And you don't have to ask people to come and make shelves for you. You buy those ready-made shelves. You come home, you just screw them together. No, no, just put them on top of each other, like plastic, plastic shell in a small box. You carry home in your car, you open the plastic and you pile them on top of each other and then you have shells for everything you need. And you have also ready-made uh, plastic uh, closet, cabinet. That's so easy to do. You don't need a man to even do it. I do it myself, yeah. You see, like that, and then you put shells for everything you need around you. So you don't need another room for the, for, for library, another room for watching television. If I have an apartment, sometimes you cannot just uh, find an apartment for a smaller room because it just happened to have three rooms. I would never use the other two rooms. What for? So that you have to clean every day? <laughs> you know, you just close it. You close it and you use just whatever you need only, yeah? Or let disciples stay with you, share the rent or share the cost, or give it to some other people, you know, vegetarian people to live together. Hmm? Yes. If you can afford it and that person cannot, then you give it to him to stay for free. And he pay for food or whatever he does himself. <laughs> yeah, the smaller the better. I, I tell you from my own experience, you're happier in there. You feel so happy. Just stay there, you know? You don't even want to leave that place because you feel peaceful. Yes. You feel you're in control of everything. <laughs> More your own universe, two by two. <laughs> yes, really, very nice. And then uh, less heater, you see, in the winter. Less aircon in the summer. And mostly the smaller house is cool if you have it under the tree. It's cool all day, you don't even need it. Don't need the uh, aircon at all. And winter, just a small heater, fine. Also, aircon, small heater, less. Less than, than if you have a bigger house. If you have a bigger house, even if you don't live in many rooms, you still need to keep a heater on in all room. And that costs electricity or oil or whatever, yes? And because it's just burden your mind, I'm telling you. Burden your mind. Because you have to still thinking about it. It's on the back of your mind whether that room is okay. Oh, next uh, week I have to clean this room, that room, because it's moldy. Or it probably has to be cleaned now and then, no? Even if you don't live in there. <laughs> oh, no, no, it's, it's not good. If you really want to practice well and be happy, then the smaller the house, the better. Apartment, yeah, small apartment. Or live in some uh, um, trailer park or something, yes. If you're comfortable there, no? If it's convenient for you. If it's allowed in your country. Some country don't allow, hey? Don't allow trailer park, right? Mm. In winter, like Canada, they don't have trailer park in winter. They close, yeah. About mid-November, mid-October, they close already, something like that, or end of October, because the, the water pipe will freeze and it will bust, that's why. Mm. But if they want, they can, you know, cover the water pipe, have it all winter. Yes, but they don't do it, probably it costs too much. Trailer park supposed to be inexpensive, you know? So maybe that's why they can't afford to, to facilitate so much, you know? Protect the pipes and all that. But they probably could, no? Probably they earn enough money, they don't care. <laughs> or maybe winter people don't, don't go. Mm. Yeah? Mostly people have house, they go there just for vacation. If you want to live there long, it's a, it's a trouble. In some cold country, it's a trouble. All right, guys. Did anybody fit the birds today? They're writing on the paper. Before we're coming, uh -huh. we read that. They said, don't feed a uh, bird by yourself. Yeah. And they, we yeah, have yeah, okay, certain okay. people. Yeah, but maybe somebody's gone. Anybody in the kitchen feed them sometimes? Okay, outside in, in the, the attendance room. Oh, I tell my attendant to do it then. Okay? <laughs> because if you feed it all over here, then we cannot sit. They might come and, and leave there. 
souvenir everywhere. <laughs> after you sit, oops, what is that? Uh, oh. <laughs> that's why. I, yeah, that's why I don't even let my dogs come here. So to keep you clean, mm, keep everything clean. Uh, sometimes I let them, but go straight upstairs to see you before, ne? After they already uh, relieve themselves everything, <laughs> and they clean pour, pour everything, clean the whole body, and then they go up. Before, ne? I don't let them come around here. Even when you are not here, I don't let the dogs come here. Because uh, dog, you know, they do it everywhere. <laughs> They're free, yeah. and they might, you know, like the coconut tree there or that little tree here. Yeah. <laughs> then when you sit, you say, "Hmm." Sequasa. <laughs> <laughs> and then when you come home, your husband thinks, "What did you pee your pants?" <laughs> Too excited seeing the master. <laughs> like hear about. About the flood in Germany. Uh, yeah, I also tell people yes. go and help, right? Yes, foreign group told us uh, that you wanted us to go there, and you even spent a lot of money for it. Well, not enough, never enough. <laughs> well, it can be never enough, but, yes. uh, but it was quite uh, nice uh, was to it? have it. Yes. Yes. And uh, okay. we s we still uh, collected some from from our from yourself also. Too. It's good. Yes. Okay, if whoever can afford, uh, give more. Yeah. Uh, Maybe they don't need, but uh, your presence. Um, yeah. That's what your I love. wanted uh, to, to tell, because it was yeah. such a very, very nice experience to do it. Oh, I told you. Uh, to yes. give is always nice. Yes, it was, uh, it was incredibly nice. Yes. Uh, we did packages first uh, mm -hmm. with food and with some information about vegetarian fuel food. Yes. And uh, an envelope with the money. And then we went there in the most uh, bad areas. The mm. worst hit, yes. Yes. Mm. And uh, people showed us what was damaged, and uh, oh. sometimes it was really terrible. Heartbroken, I know. The oh. whole house was not to use anymore. Yes, they next time bring tent. Tent, also. Bring. They couldn't live in there anymore, oh. and they had bring to the remove the floor uh -huh. uh, until you could see the stones already. Oh. Everything had to go out, and the walls uh -huh. all uh, as well. Understand. Inside and outside, they had to remove I saw it. it. Otherwise, it, it smelled so terribly, yeah. you couldn't bear it. Yeah. Because the toilet and all that will be over flooded, and then people might get sick even. Yes, and uh, not only the cellar, but sometimes it was the first floor and even the second I saw, floor. I saw it on, on the TV. Really, really very, very bad. I know, so people will be very appreciative when you come. It was like that, yes. yes. We went there, and then first they, they were a little reluctant what we want. Yes. And then they found out we, we don't want anything, we just <laughs> want to give something. Yes, yes. Uh, they, they showed very, very happily what happened. Yes, yes. And yeah, they, of course, they told leave them. How, how they felt and, oh. and how it was. That, that all is together. what makes them feel better. Yes. To share the problem, share the, the sorrow, you know? Yes. Most people only like to share, share the joy but don't share the sorrow. Yeah. No people like to come and listen to them talk. Even if you don't bring anything, but you bring your love and you, you lend your ears and your arms, they will be very much more comforted. Yes. That's the point. That's the point. Yes. And uh, for me, I thought they are all in despair, but it was not like that. They really said uh, we we make the best out of it, and they started mm. to to rebuild everything. The, the and they had people. a lot yes. of helpers too. The university yeah. is closed, yeah, 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 and good. the military people were yeah. there. It's good. Really, many many people. Wonderful. And they were very moved. Uh, they had so much help. Oh, they good. couldn't believe it. That's good for them. Good yes. for them. Yes. And then when we when we presented gifts and the money, mm -hmm. most of them they just uh, the tears came out and we hugged oh. and oh. it was really yes, very yeah. very touching. Yes. Uh, even if they are rich people, but in this type of situation, maybe their money are washed out, their checks are gone, their credit card nowhere, they don't get anything to eat. Yeah. So we bring the uh, immediate relief. That is good for everyone to have. That's why they're so happy. And sometimes yeah. we had the impression it wasn't even the money that they I didn't know, have money. It was just somebody came and yeah, cared, and care. just like yeah, that. And share, and yeah. share. Yes. Yeah. Of course, that's what we get, went for. It's not just because they, not all of them might need the food, but in case they do, then yeah. we have it for them, just for temporary, so that until they get back on their feet.
until they can report uh, the credit card or something and get something to buy for their children or for themselves. Uh, when disaster comes, everybody needs, yeah. rich or poor, anybody. You never know. They need love also, you see? Yeah. Most important. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's good. So thank you very much thank for you pushing too. us. And next time we do it on our own. <laughs> yeah, please do that. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, I know all of you are Buddha, just sit there and, and meditate and don't do anything. So I have to watch the news all the time, in this case. And uh, I have to tell the FG to immediately yeah, send help. Yes, I can't do it all alone, but I'm, I'm very grateful that you do it for me. Okay, I can't do it all because so many countries, I can't travel that much anymore. I need to meditate <laughs> to make it less. And disasterless, uh, but still it could be worse, you see. But even then, even I do that spiritually, I also do it materially, yeah, financially, because people in this world, and especially people who don't practice it, or even people practice, they also need material comfort, no? Especially in that situation, they also need some food, some water to drink for the immediate need, and then later they will get by. Or sometimes other group did not arrive yet. In Germany, it's good because it's a powerful country, it's a rich country, and then they come help immediately. But still then, you give a little gift of, of uh, immediate relief, and they're so happy and they're so touched uh, to tears. You see that? They do need it. Because even the government send the army, but there's so many areas, they can't, they can't do it all in one time. And they can't reach sometimes remote area or, or when the worst hit area, maybe they haven't arrived yet. They didn't know where yet. So they just go different villages and some people are in need. Né? But Germany is a rich country. So the government can afford to do it immediately. It's good. And Germany is also a peaceful country. So the army is always ready for helping. I'm happy like that. The army should be just that. Just to rescue people. Be a hero. Not to fight and kill. And what was very nice, in, in front of the restaurants, once they had uh, the, the mud out of it, they started to put a table outside with a very big pot of uh, uh, soup, thick and, soup something. Yeah, and, yeah. and to drink. For and people. they even gave it for free. Ah, yes, it's really good. good. Ah, very good, of course. But you see, even, I want to say, even Germany is a rich country, but still there are some people who need it, even without disaster. Not to talk about when disaster comes, then they have nothing anymore. Yeah. They still also have some percentage of unemployment and some people who don't have job or some people who have job but can't go to work. And uh, sometimes children need extra things. And when disaster comes, re they really need something, especially the love and comfort that you bring. Okay? <laughs> love and comfort that you bring. Yeah, we felt like that. <laughs> yeah. Good. Okay. So it's good for you also. You see, when you go in such an area uh, by yourself, you can see how people are so appreciative. And then you can feel closer to fellow beings. Your heart will be more open and your compassion will grow. Not just the money and the things that we give. It's for you to grow. Because... Yeah, very happy too. Yeah. The, first, the first-hand experience... It will touch your heart forever, because you, you were there. You see how things are damaged and how people suffer, and you feel very sorry for them. Your heart will open with love, and that's what energy that needs to counterbalance the negative things that have happened to them. Okay, You bring positive power, you bring love into the area that they need it most at that time. Okay? Yes. No matter what karma they did, no matter if they deserve, uh, trouble or not, you always bring love and comfort. That's important for you also, not just for them. Yeah, <laughs> very good. For our world together, always uh, spread more love, then the world will become better and better place. Hmm? Okay, energy, good energy. You see, happy and loving energy is needed. Oh, okay. Um, oh, look like they're hungry, huh? Uh, because they keep coming for it. I call my assistant to give them some bread where she knows where. Oh, <laughs> but they could eat forever too, you know. <laughs> They're so small, but they can eat a lot. 
uh, I always give before, you know, and they come back to eat again and again. Did you assign somebody every time to feed the pigeons and the birds? The kitchen do it as well. Okay, they do? Yes. Because always a new kitchen, so you have to put the, the notice there and show them where to, to, to feed the birds when they come, okay? Okay. Or tell the kitchen to uh, relate it to the next person, huh? Okay, master. Okay. Anything else? Yes, ah. yes, Master. We had also a very special experience during this flight in Czech Republic. We, we went to some areas, uh, the most uh, also uh, disaster, and we asked mostly people to recommend us where is the most... Uh, the worst hit the area. Worst. Yeah. But uh, one place where was uh, one man who lived from last uh, flood, it was two th 2002, and now without, again. without electricity, without, without <sighs> gas, without everything. Yeah. And now uh, again, flood. Oh, God. When we came, he was very nervous, but he started to explain us that these material things are uh, not uh, permanent, that it is not important, oh. that he can be happy also I from inside. Yeah. And uh, he saved the, uh, the most important things and he showed us, uh, it was picture of uh, Maria, uh -huh. from uh, oh. from Mary yes. and Jesus Christ. Oh. And he showed us this and he was very happy about that it. they're still there. Yes, yeah. and we started to talk with him a little bit and he relaxed and started to sing to us. Oh. And in his, in his flat, uh, no furniture, nothing. Oh. And it was like in church. Yes, you know, in the church, yeah. uh, empty, yes. He sang us Ave Maria, uh -huh. and we, it was so touching. <laughs> oh, very good. And he thanks you very much for envelope, for money, and for support, uh -huh. and uh, love. <laughs> you tell him, uh, yeah, he's welcome, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much also. For oh, you're welcome. <laughs> <his> My God. <laughs> yeah, some people just uh, endure one disaster after another, yeah. because the government don't always have enough time. or They have, but they have other things to do. Always some pressing political problem or with neighbors or with uh, things, you know. So uh, it's, um, it's, it's inevitable that some family or some people are being left out, yeah, and forgotten, yes. Uh, also, you know, like Haiti or Katrina disaster, it's the people are still living in like hut or, you know, shed, yeah. Without any protection, without any any means to survive. Uh, apart from that, we also have refugees and who has nothing, and all, also only lucky to be alive. And then go to all kind of refugee camp and just uh, eat from whatever hands out to them. This world is not always very kind because we make so much bad energy, and so the energy hit back at us, ne? This is uh, like boomerang effect. Einstein once told us that everything will come back to work. <laughs> if you throw something, it will go back to you one day. It come back to where it started. So if this world wants to become a better place, then people have to become better. They have to start by themselves. Sometimes people uh, in this lifetime, they haven't done any, anything wrong. But uh, maybe in the past life, they have done something wrong. So this lifetime, they have to bear some consequences. Or it's just a collective karma from family or from clan or from country, yeah? That happened to be like that. But nevertheless, whatever it is, we always have to open our heart and help them, okay? We always have to help whoever needs, regardless, yeah? Regardless. We cannot say that, oh, it's their bad karma, that's why, and we don't do anything. He cannot do like this. But I'm surprised. Why am I the first one to inform you about your country's disaster? All the time. Not, not just Germany, Czech or Hungary. Or... Up to now, it's like that all the time. Because mm -hmm. I sometimes watch TV. Like they say, billions and billions of dollars are given to Haiti reconstruction program. But the people still don't get it. It filters through somewhere and then it's stuck in some bureaucracy or something. When it's a disaster, we always need to go and check out, okay? As a fellow human being. And if they don't need, it's fine. 
If we don't need, then we don't need to say anything or do anything. If they need, then at least we know we can help. If they don't need, at least they know, okay, somebody concerned about them. As a human to human, eh? as a German fellow together or Czech fellow together or Hungarian, etc. Whenever there's a disaster, you know, I just don't feel good at all, myself even. Even I stay in a safe area. At night, I would toss and turn, toss and turn, and I meditate sometimes very un- unevenly. And sometimes, if it's a flood or, or in a cold area or something like that, oh, I feel so cold, even if I have all the heater on. I'm cold inside out, in the bone from coming out. I have all the blanket, hot bottle of water and hot blanket, everything. I still cannot feel warm. Imagine, I just feel some of the feeling of the people only, and it's that much. I couldn't sleep at night and feel cold like that. Or if it's a kind of a fire, fire disaster, then I would feel so hot, so hot, so hot. Like fever, yeah? And I cannot bear any clothes, and I keep have to wash myself with cold water and all that. I can't even sit, I feel like I'm burning inside because of the sympathy, a sympathetic connection with the human beings, with the fellow beings. Can you imagine I'm in a safe place and just feel sympathy and feel so, so bad like that? How would the people there feel, in especially cold, cold weather? No heater, no electricity, no gas, and no food in the house. Sometimes I don't know where to go to ask for food. Sometimes maybe the army come distribute food, but they didn't know it because the electricity cut off, the telephone's gone, they have no communication. They don't know that the army came to give food. And if they were not there, all the food were distributed, and they will stay at home alone. Or some elderly people cannot go everywhere. You know, they, they don't have car, they can't drive, or they're sick in the house alone. There's always a situation that we can help. Yeah? Okay? Um. Já pro mě je těžký jako nepomáhat ostatním, i když nejsem obklopený takhle duchovníma a skvělýma lidma. Okay. Uh, for him is very uh, hard. And, uh, it is not easy not to help others. Even he wasn't uh, till now surrounded with so great people as here. A stále pro ně hledám nějakou cestu, jak by se mohli dostat oni sami k duchovnímu poznání. I still uh, am looking for some uh, go- spiritual way how they can reach uh, the spiritual knowledge. Very uh, noble. Most of them are not able to do it. They are not able to do it. They are not I understand ha- how hard it is uh, to uh, disconnect from uh, material things. I have one thing to say, and I have to say that it is a good thing. They have to say skutečného, co můžou použít v reálném životě. Uh, some idea came to me, so I want to ask whether it's correct okay. that uh, they need uh, some uh, material things or something that they can use in material world. Že pokud se rozhodují při jakémkoliv konání, tak uh, ať se rozhodují na základě toho, if they uh, can decide uh, in uh, normal life, so they ma- uh, the best is to decide uh, regarding to something. Pokud jejich rozhodnutí vede k, závislo- k jistotě a závislosti, to není dobrá cesta. Pokud vede k pravdě, ta, pardon, k, ke svobodě a odpovědnosti, je to dobrá cesta. If their decision leads to security and dependence, it is not a good way to go. And uh, if it leads to uh, liberty and freedom and uh, responsibility, it is a good uh, way. Yeah, of course it is. Um, spiritual help is always the best, but in this world, some people need, need material help. Yeah. And then if they want a spiritual thing, we also give them some information spiritually, yeah? Že, že pokud, pokud můžeme pomoct duchovně, tak je to vždycky nejlepší. Ale pokud ty lidi potřebují materiální pomoc, tak jim můžeme pomoct i materiálně. Ale duchovní pomoc je vždycky nejlepší, yes, ty yes. dát jim informace. Mm. 
Když potřebují lidi materiální pomoc, dáme jim materiální. And also included a little bit spiritual if they're interested. And when they need spiritual, then we help spiritual. Jo, včetně trochu, že jim tam dáme něco duchovního, pokud to chtějí, jo. Ale pokud chtějí duchovní, tak jim dáváme tu duchovní pomoc. So whenever you go for disaster relief, you always bring some spiritual book or some gift to them, and that's correct. Jo, takže i když jdete, jdete pomáhat třeba při těch povodních nebo nějakých katastrofách, tak je v pořádku vzít sebou něco duchovního a dát jim to k tomu taky, protože to je vlastně vyvážené. Když potřebuje nějaký strom, prostě vodu, tak ho zalije a ne, zaliješ a ne, abys mu říkal, poslouchej mistrní a prostě z nebe si ti to přijde. A... When people in disaster area need food, please just give food. Hmm. Když lidi prostě při nějakých katastrofách potřebují jídlo, Don't dejte jim jídlo. Karma, ne, must... ne, ne, musíš jim vysvětlovat, je to Eat vaše karma, jeď veg- vegetariánsky, <laughs> musíš zachránit svět, buď veganem. Follow Master Ching Hai. Následuj mi srdí Ching Hai. <laughs> please give them food. Dejte, dejte jim jídlo. Oni musí nejdřív přežít. A když máte nějaké duchovní materiály, tak je dejte do, do toho balíčku. To jim pomůže taky vlastně sklidnit tu jejich duši. A potom, pokud je to zaujme, tak vás najdou a vy můžete vlastně yes. pokračovat v těch informacích. Ale když máte zkušenosti s lidmi a říkáte, že neposlouchají, tak proč? <laughs> why so eager? Proč jste taky jako zarytý? Nebo tak furt chcete? Protože jsem tam byl taky. Because he was there also. He was like the, them uh-huh. before. I understand, understand. And uh, he, he had feeling that they don't need uh, to go through all this suffering as he did. So yeah. he, he want to help them. Thank you. You're very kind and I'm very touched. Jo, že, že ti děkuje, že, je velice, že jsi velice vlídný a že je tím velice dojatá. Že to je... It's very good that you always try, okay? Je to dobře, že se vždycky snažíš. But if people don't listen, don't feel hurt, don't feel rejected. Ale pokud tě lidi neposlouchají, tak ať nejsi zraněný, ať se ne, necítíš odmítnutý, nebo some people, zklamaný. Some people are not ready. Někteří lidi nejsou připraveni. Yeah. Like children, some people, some children don't grow up yet. Jo, že některé děti ještě nedorostly. Some souls are not grown up yet. Některé duše ještě nedorostly. Yeah. Sometimes too much suffering, they can care less. They don't believe in God anymore because they think God make all this suffering. Hmm. It's not true. They make it themselves, but they always blame God. Hmm. Ale oni žijou v takovém utrpení, že pořád obdivují, teda obvinují Boha, že on to způsobil. A, a oni nevědí, že to způsobili oni, ale prostě obvinují toho Boha. So you're not suffering anymore now? Tak vy už teďka That's netrpíte? Me? Sám ne. Yes. No, he alone not. <laughs> ah, good. But, but he can see it around. Yes, of course. Thank you. Thank you for being Že a good boy. Že jsi tak hodný chvatek. <laughs> very sincere. Velice yes. upřímný. And you eat more vegetable, okay? A jest yes, víc zeleniny. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> trošku. <laughs> yeah, a little bit at a time. Jo, trošku, vždycky yes. trošku si Because they cook here very nice vegetable. Protože oni vaří tady velice dobrou zeleniny. Together with rice and protein. S, s rýží a prostě mm. s nějakou... Balanced jo, diet. Tam, tam nějaký protein jako... Yeah. Uh, I also don't feel like eating sometimes. But, se, já taky někdy nemám chutí. Yeah, but I eat just to have a break. <laughs> Ale jim, že si dám prostě přestávku. Yeah. Or with people. Nebo for, s lidma. For happiness, yes. Pro štěstí. Uh, anyway, if you don't like a lot of vegetable, then just eat what, uh, what in the loving list. <laughs> Pokud nemáš rád jako hodně zeleniny, tak je to, co je na tom seznamu milujících jako věcí. To jsou... mm-hmm. yes. I když je, je omezený ten seznam těch milujících věcí, ale je tam ještě stejně hodně jídla. Je dobré se toho držet. Já taky nejím hodně zeleniny a takových věcí, ale cítím se dobře. And if you feel uh, a little weak or 
uh, run down sometimes and take some vitamin. Yeah? A pokud si cítíte trošku někdy slabý a nebo prostě takový vyčerpaný, tak si dejte nějaké vitamíny. A uh, supplement, okay. Nějaké, nějaké, jo, nějaké prostě I, I really podpůrné need, I really need it anymore, even though I eat very little. A little limited of, uh, of uh, supply. Jo, že jim je hodně málo těch vitamínů nebo takových dalších yeah. doplňků. Okay. Uh, because we, we have also inside uh, nourishment, you know? Protože mm. i uvnitř máme prostě výživu. Uh, you eat according to your need, yeah? Že jíte podle toho, co potřebujete. Uh, you test it, yeah? Někdy so, to testuje. Some has more uh, nourishment inside, some have less. If you have less, then you eat a little bit more. If you have a, a lot of nourishment inside the prana, then you eat less. Hmm. Někdy máš v sobě víc výživy, tak nepotřebuješ tolik jíst a někdy máš míň, tak jíš víc, protože někdy máš v sobě míň prány, než, tak, anebo máš víc, tak jíš míň. Don't punish yourself, it's just testing. To ne, see. Nemusíš se moc <laughs> jako <laughs> see, what, prestat, what jo? je to do. jenom testování, co prostě vydržíš. Yes. See how your body responds. Jak, jak reaguje tvé tělo? Uh,师傅,报告一个台湾的好消息,就是我们现在台湾有很多做婚的店啊,都一家一家开了大的素食店,然后我们常常去吃都是客满,然后一家一家开这样子,然后我都觉得世界和平快到了。Oh, okay. Good. 哪裡有這麼好東西,幾百年沒聽說。Um uh, master we um recently interviewed um two scientists from a research institute in Germany. Yeah. And they received like a million um euros funding from the um European um research funding. Yeah. And they are doing a project called Like Meat and they are researching plant-based uh, meat proteins. Uh -huh. Um and Uh, one of the things that they test is what's that they've developed a new process mm -hmm. um, for to get a more texture that's like meat for uh -huh. the flexitarians. Uh -huh. Yes. So they have a process now where you they they've tested six to eight different types of proteins. So yes. they can combine all sorts of different um, yes. proteins together. So yes. yeah. they um, their specialization is lupines. So they've they've produced a meat where um, which doesn't have any soya or it can mm -hmm. be gluten free, yes. soya free. So. Yes, there are also gluten free and soya free uh, bread and vegetable. <laughs> there are also soya free vegetable. Yeah. Imagine, <laughs> soya free beans. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, so they, they this um, institute is very famous for their work on lupines. Are they producing anything yet? They they have a lupine ice cream that's on the market already. Uh -huh. The plant-based meat was coming out um, next year. Ah, we're out. waiting. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and yeah so it's the, good. Yeah. It's good for a lot of people because some people uh, also don't like soya because of this um, uh, pre prejudice. Yeah. Also, some people cannot uh, uh, tolerate uh, gluten protein. I don't know why. <laughs> Must be karma, eh? <laughs> yeah. It's not like you lucky people eat anything, digest anything. <laughs> It's good. Good news. Because they're getting better all the time now. Even we know a lot of products and we are from international sources. So we can exchange and we can buy things. But outside people, you know, the people who, who don't know much about vegan stuff, is difficult for them to find things to eat that is nice. Yeah? So if they can conduct all these experiments and make tasty and textury nice, then people would be more vegan. Now, for example, now I came back here this time, they bought me some nice cheese. Tastes so good. It's very nice. Square like this and one slide after another. Yeah. Dogs love it so much. <laughs> My dogs love it. I, I also like it. Yeah, before I didn't eat too much cheese. But the sweet cheese, you know, also very nice with walnuts and all that. Very nice. In German, you can buy a lot of things. German and Holland, funny. Holland, you can buy a lot of vegetarian food. You mean pure, pure vegetarian food and cheap as well. And some country like Buddhist country, difficult to find. <laughs> I thought Taiwan has a lot of vegan food, but before there wasn't that much either, except tofu and some of the minching, you know, from the gluten. It's not much tasty things. And then even though sometimes they say vegetarian food or vegan food, still they put something 
not vegetarian in it. Pork or some pork oil or something like that. You know, it's terrible. But nowadays it's getting better and better all the time. Uh, we really hope one day the whole world vegan, eh? And everywhere you go, you just eat. <laughs> because honestly, uh, it's getting better. But still, whenever you go, there's not there's not the pure vegan shop anywhere. So you have to go in supermarket to buy things. And it takes me forever with my uh, binocular to to read things. In Berlin and Frankfurt, there are vegan shops already, and in Düsseldorf and Essen too. Yes, I, I know. I know. And in Munich. Um, we had a very small one yes. up to now, and now it became five times bigger, and yes. it's much more uh, more varieties, city okay. and more good, variety. Good job, and good vegan food, um, good business. Yes, just okay. I think it's nice. I only yeah. know the old one, which okay. was small, okay. because the new one is That's very new. That's what you guys new. should do. Also, you open a vegan shop then, and the second one will open in in one or two months. Ah, wonderful! And there is one supermarket. Who has a vegan uh, compartment? Yeah, now. yeah, I know, I know. We didn't have that before. Yeah, so, I know. So Nowadays, uh, many supermarkets you can buy tofu or some vegan sausages, uh, uh, small varieties, but have some uh, to survive. Anyway, it doesn't matter if they don't have vegan sausages or tofu. You just buy beans, you know, baked beans, vegetarian baked beans, or green beans. You know, there's uh, a lot of protein in it. It's soya beans, so, uh, tofu is made from soya beans. <laughs> And other things make from mung beans. Anyway, so you just eat beans and vegetables, also fine, eh? Yes, it's, you have to cook tastily and then everything's good. Of course, uh, when I run around, I don't always have vegan cheese or vegan sausage and stuff like that. I don't I really eat it that much. I eat just a vegetable. Mm. And I'm still okay, you know. I'm, I don't even eat beans anymore. I mean, only one type of uh, very small beans. They cut it uh, maybe now and then if they buy it. Otherwise, I don't even eat this kind of protein food. I just eat the vegetable, and my vegetable consists of, okay, if the no head tomato, ripe tomatoes, maybe sometime, but I don't eat that much either. A cucumber, yeah? And there's a Chinese cabbage there, and uh, a Roman lectures, yeah? And some onion. <laughs> That's just about it. Yeah. And uh, fruit is uh, melons and uh, some uh, peach sometimes. But I don't really eat that much fruit. Yeah. Mostly melons. Sometimes my attendant buy an, uh, the apples also, yeah, because I share it with my dogs. They love apples and melons. So we always eat together. Yeah. Because without them, I'm also lazy to, to, to cut the deed. And that's just about it. And if they buy other things, they like apricots, and I don't really eat a plum, you know, they also okay in the lovely food if they have no hair. But I also don't eat them that much. I eat maybe an apple or so now and then, or melons, yeah, that's it. So it's not a lot of variety, is it? No, eh? Not compared to normal diet, eh? Yeah, and of course I have rice, yeah, or couscous or spaghetti without eggs, yeah, or noodles with them, yeah. That's it, <laughs> and I'm still alive, no? Since since I talked to you last, I've been on this diet. Hmm. Master. Yeah. Uh, recently, recently, research showed that. Uh, Actually, most of us, uh, we don't need lots of protein. No. Most time, people take too much. Too much. Over, overdo. Get sick. And they got lots of sick. Yeah. So every time patients say, oh, not enough. We say, no. Yeah. Lots of vegetables have enough protein. Enough Actually, protein. we don't need that much. It's true also. It's true. Uh, also, in my, in my taste, I also don't really like to eat a lot of protein. Uh, so when the Chinese uh, cook a lot of things with a lot of protein, and that, they're nice. But... I mostly eat more rice than the protein. The Chinese normally they eat more food than rice. I, I'm eating more rice and more vegetable than protein. So I always ask for more rice. I don't ask for more food. <laughs> it's okay too, nah. Yeah, there are a lot of things to eat. Couscous, a lot of things I listed to you. Rice, yeah, noodles, sometimes bread. Okay, no, a lot of food already. Really, yeah. I don't really fancy more than that. 
not because uh, of course it's also because loving food now that we know I don't want to hurt any plants or anything anymore not because of that also but even before that if they cook for me a lot of vegetable then I eat them if not I don't really fancy so many like I don't eat tomatoes a lot either for example you know I don't eat a lot of carrots or these things even turnip and all that I reach it all down to you but I don't have them either just uh, Chinese cabbage is most often the, <laughs> the food easy to cut just put it in the pa uh, pan you know like a soup with soup then it's so easy and cucumber I also eat now and then also <laughs> not every day either I don't know what I eat really <laughs> very you know, little variety and protein is for taste, né? Vegan cheese also for taste. Otherwise, if you eat the balanced food diet, you, you have enough. Yeah. Okay? Some of the benefits of a vegetarian diet lowers blood pressure, lowers cholesterol levels, reduces type 2 diabetes, prevents stroke conditions, reverses atherosclerosis, reduces heart disease risk 50%. Reduces heart surgery risk 80%, prevents many forms of cancer, stronger immune system, increases life expectancy up to 15 years, higher IQ, saves 70% of a total cost of 40 trillion US dollars for reducing global warming, uses four and a half times less land to grow food, conserves up to 70% clean water, saves 80% of the cleared Amazonian rainforest from animal grazing, a solution for world hunger, free up 3.4 billion hectares of land, free up 760 million tons of grain every year, half the world's grain supply, consumes one-third fossil fuels of those used for meat production, reduces pollution from untreated animal waste, maintains cleaner air, saves four and a half tons of emissions per U.S. household per year, stop 80% of global warming, plus more. Save your life. Be veg. Go green. For more urgent information, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash be veg. When you meditate, you also replenish yourself with the uh, nutrition that is in the air, yeah? It's uh, from the sun. Uh, let's face it, the, the fruit also grow from the earth and air and sun water. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we just grow it ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's why people can be breatharian or pranarian, you see? Or just waterian or solarian. Because uh, we can take them from the air if we need to, yeah? But don't do it, don't force yourself and die and then blame me, huh? <laughs> Just do anything according to your need, okay? Meditate a lot, that's important, all right? Longing for God, yeah? And longing for blessing to, to help other beings. These are more important, okay? Whatever you eat is enough already. But don't say that to other doctors and scientists. They think I'm preaching you not... not not correctly, but I am the example. And the breatharian people are the examples, the proof of that, of what I'm saying, really, you know? But if you feel like you need more food than or your children need, then please just continue the way you do, okay? You have to test it only, yeah? Don't just immediately go, just cucumber every day, <laughs> because Master says so. <laughs> Or just tomato, and then you will look like a tomato when you come <laughs> next time. <laughs> We're okay, but we have to be moderate, all right? Okay, now I let you go eat. Don't make any more excuses and don't say anything. <laughs> okay, have a bon appetito. Thank you. Thank you.
Dobrze, oglądaliście dzisiaj z nami Zawsze szeszcie więcej miłości Część druga z dwóch Między mistrzem a uczniami Następnie w programie ze świętych tekstów Awestry, Zoroastrianizmu, Ahunuwajti Gata, Jasna, 31-32, z Ahunuwajti Gata w słowach mądrości. Pozostańcie z Supreme Master Television. Niech Wasze życie będzie zawsze błogosławione niekończącą się miłością Boga. Aby uzyskać więcej informacji, prosimy odwiedzić stronę www.suprememastertv.com ukośnik BMD.